Hey brothers and sisters, it's Jared. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the rap industry. Now, it is obvious and plain to see that the rap music scene is being used to promote the ideals, signs, and symbols of the satanic doctrine. Also, in the top Billboard 100 hits like Lamborghini Mercy by Kanye West and Big Sean, where throughout this song in the hook it says, well, it's the weeping and a moaning and a gnashing of teeth. It is the weeping and the moaning and the gnashing of teeth. When it comes to my sound, which is the champion sound, believe, believe. People who listen to these songs are enticed with covetousness, where the artist talks about his Lamborghini and all of the things and riches of this world that he has, and then constantly taunts them with the realities of these things. The visions of hell that we see in scripture, the weeping and the moaning and the gnashing of teeth. Even in the pop crossovers like New York with Jay-Z, in one of his verses he says, Jesus can't save you, life starts when the church ends. This antichrist spirit that we see in rap music is all too real, and I want you to know that it is going to grow worse. Rap started out with roots of social change, then got hijacked by the gangster lifestyle and is now moving into the satanic doctrine. What used to be about cars, clothes, and money is turning into occult rituals full of bloodbaths, skulls, satanic symbols like the Baphomet, and constantly throwing up the hand signs of the satanic church, the devil horns. Three fingers turned down to reject the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and two fingers turned up in allegiance to Satan. There is also an apparent and blatant push to objectify the women of rap, make them into cookie cutter pictures of the female body, as well as demasculinize the men and put them in effeminate clothing like these skirts that we see a lot of the male rappers are now starting to wear and promote to their fans. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, well, you don't know anything about rap, you don't like rap, all this stuff. And I understand that. So, what we're going to do here is take a look at what the insiders, the rappers, the OGs of the rap game and the people who are in the industry are saying about the satanic spirit and the Illuminati Antichrist symbolism that is popping up in rap and that is showing its face more and more. You don't choose them. This ain't an everybody thing. This is an elite club. Okay, so Pac, okay, so uh, the elite club now would be Jay-Z, mm -hmm. 50, uh, Puffy, Puffy, Kanye, um, Beyonce. Beyonce. And all. Okay, so are these people, have they been put there? Open your eyes. Don't sleep. Don't don't fall for whatever they feed you. You know, most kings, a lot of kings were poisoned because they were uh, they was they were loving of their of their subjects. And a lot of times, you know, there's just wickedness. And you have to know that there's wickedness in the, in the world. You have to know that there are people who are just here to profit and to put their foot on the back of people who are poor and who don't think that hip hop can be used for good or for evil. If I was part of the Illuminati, I'd be a little bit, little bit bigger than what I am today. What do you think about the Illuminati and everybody thinking that Jay's part of the Illuminati and rappers could be possibly part of the Illuminati? If they are, a part of it, they're never going to admit it anyway. So what's the sense of even asking about it? Just forget about it. Like, like what, what difference does it make? Like, it's a good point. There is a secret society right. that we know. Right. There are many secret societies that we know. There are secret societies in the, 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 the music business that we know. The higher you get up, the more homosexual it gets. <laughs> no, no, no. Really happened. It's bigger than this. Dancing with the Devil, that title, is not just calling Puff no devil. That's not it. The music industry, the whole industry, you put them all together, that every one of them, man, or every one of them have their wicked ways. You know what I'm saying? And that book represents... The administration will not do anything for us. I, don't, I can't tell you what the action was because I might be inciting something. What I would say is that our, um, our ability to connect with each other is 
the power that the government can't control and they're working very strongly on controlling it. What do you know about it though? Is that something that, I mean, I used to read about that stuff when I was incarcerated. Right, and that's what it seems like a lot of people feel like they're not the led, the Illuminati, the, you know, the, the, the Freemasons. Um, I, used to, I used to read about this stuff, you know, and um, I'm saying like, in the, in the music industry, you have, I look at the trends, right? If you follow what's going on the trends, Rappers have adapted homosexual homosexual fashion. The way the way some rappers dress, the way the gays dress years ago. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. It's just a fact. You can't dispute fact. Right. Successful rappers are rap as it is now. So I'm just the culture, I'm just rap. It's not just whether it's successful or up and coming. But you were saying it's you got higher it got. I'm not talking about even rappers, I'm talking about the people in, in control. The higher you up, the executives and people pushing buttons, behind buttons. Do I think that they play with boys? Yes. Some of them. Not all of them. I can't I can't say exactly who, but I hear stories, you hear stories too. You probably been as many as long as me. And you probably get across and oh, throw over that door. You know? So it is and a lot of times we are, um, we, we're, we're giving this this white horse and we're just like, we're supposed to believe in this thing or this person. Mm -hmm. And um, we've seen it done over and over and over. And at times you have to realize like the truth is the truth. You know, like we're all human beings and we're all, uh, we all have responsibilities, but I think that no one human being can save the world. But Cat Williams was correct when he said there's mansion parties and Y'all don't understand what go on. Man. See now, now you have to bring my viewers up to speed on that because the whole cat, we, we I went, I'm not even hip to that. What we said about that, what did Cat Williams? Cat Williams said they was letting him in, and the stuff that he was seeing was blowing his mind. And I'm telling y'all right now, if y'all don't want to believe it, watch in the next couple of years they coming after Cat Williams. They come, Cat Williams said too much truth. They coming after Cat Williams, man. seriously. You understand what I'm saying? These subsidiaries, because their parents' parents own the majors. They got distribution, so they could sign the brothers to these subsidiary labels. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. They were the ones that said that they were gonna make you calling yourself a nigga very popular. It, it talks about that on page two uh, 40, 236, I believe. And I tell people all the time. I said, listen, this ain't Professor Griff. It says, um. It says, with their cash in a superior industry position, these white entrepreneurs installed a new leadership um, over hip-hop, and they began to promote a nefarious niggerization of rap music. It says, Karis One and Public Enemy, um, um, with the message that Karis One and Public Enemy, they said, we were reaching the masses of young black people. And then MWA niggas with attitudes would be paid off and put in a position where they would neutralize Public Enemy and brothers like Karis One. And then came the gangster rap, thugging, balling, now pimping. Now the metrosexual is about to take over hip hop. And your children, your children, your nephew, your niece, and all the little ones, the shorties now, Tay Tay, Ree Ree, Man Man, and Twan and them in the hood, gonna be wearing skirts. Watch. Man purses in this kind. We have an interesting relationship with the media because the media will convince people to work against their best interests. Um, and they'll tell you. They'll do exposés on the media how, how this is against your best interest, but the, it's, it's the flashing lights. When things are on TV and they're flashing, we're attracted to them, whether they're positive or negative. Do you see your role as a I mean, I'm a part of the media. What I do is media-based. That's the way I reach out to people. So I just try to be responsible. What do you think it will take for, for society to rise up and you know, become more conscious and become more active in, in their world and not just sit back and you know, be willing to let events pass you by? I think the people who know better have to find creative ways to bring it to people who don't. The government brainwash our people with the mind control theory. That's what they do. So they make sure our people like it. They keep playing that same song. The same song keep playing, you, program, you start to like it. You, you start program. to get cloned with it. You start to get cloned with it. So then for the clone exists, then it just takes over. It takes over the human body. It takes over the spirit. It takes over the soul. And therefore, behold, that's what you got. I pray that this was an eye-opening video. Rap is one of the 
biggest genres of music and most popular genres that people are listening to day in and day out. It is one of the high points of this world. Satan is the prince of the power of the air. He is using this medium to influence people all around us. We are told in scripture that the love of money is the root of all evil. What does rap boast on? Their love of money, cash, cars, clothes, covetousness, all of the things of the flesh, all wrapped in a big bow and handed to the viewer, the listener. This is sin packaged and distributed to the masses. So we have to ask ourselves as followers of Christ in this hour, are we letting the propaganda of this world influence us? Are we being conformed to the image of this world or are we being transformed by the renewing of our minds? The reason why this stuff is growing satanic and showing all this satanic fruit is because it is as Jesus said, you'll know a tree by its fruit. These trees are rotten. They're dead to the core. They are producing death, not life. They are heading down the path of destruction, not into glory with God the Father. And don't get things mixed up. This is not just rap. We all know it's metal and pop and indie rock and EDM. All of these labels, all of these things are showing this stuff right now. It's not just rap. That's just what I made this video on right here because these people are speaking out about it at least. At least these people are voicing out about it and saying, whoa, this stuff's weird, this stuff's bad. You don't hear the EDM singers talking about uh, the Illuminati or the satanic spirit inside of their music except for thinking it's a joke or the metal singers speaking out against it or you don't hear the pop singers speaking out against it because they all think it's a joke. At least these people have enough sense in their head to say, hey, look, Satan's bad. <laughs> All these people who are getting into this other stuff, they think it's a big joke. The greatest lie the enemy ever told was convincing the world he doesn't exist. And it is so apparent that that lie is in the hearts of so many people. That's why Rick Ross can stand up and sing the devil is a lie and nobody bats an eye. They just rock their heads to it and think it's real cool and funny. But let us not be drawn in to these deceptions. Let us not be drawn into these lies. Satan's a deceiver, guys. He's making it sound real good. He's gonna make it go to the beat of the drum that you want it to, and he's gonna package all of his lies in that. But if you are a lover of truth, if you are a lover of Christ, no matter how tempting these lies are, no matter how seducing these spirits are, you're gonna stand up and say, I know that I have a savior who died upon a cross for me, and I'm not gonna listen to this blasphemy me. I'm not going to listen to this garbage and this trash, this stuff that rejects my Savior, that boasts in the things that he died for on that cross, that he shed his blood on Calvary so that I would be free from. I'm not going to listen to that trash. I'm not going to listen to that filth. And we're going to be broken of these addictions by the love of the Savior, not by the power of our flesh. <laughs> I couldn't give up the music that I loved, dubstep and metal, because of my flesh, because Jared had the ability to do it. I did it because the love of a savior who died for me, who cared for me, who didn't want me to be in bondage to sin, and laid his life down on Calvary because I deserve the wrath of a holy God. But he laid himself down so that I would be free. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you guys, and be well in the Lord. Brothers and sisters, if this video blessed you or was insightful in any way, please help spread the truth to combat all the lies that are flying around the internet. If you go below the video and click this share link right here, you can share it on Google Plus or Facebook. Also, if you're still not convinced, you click this picture right here. and. Also, if you're still not convinced, this picture right here and in the description below will be a link to another video taking a look at the Mark of the Beast symbolism in Drake's new album. So, God bless you all. Thank you for all of your support and help. Be well in the Lord.